Hey guys, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you had a really good uh, Christmas with your families. Uh, I did. I, um, I had a good good Christmas. Um, I, I was tinkering around with something over the Christmas break there, just for fun, purely for fun, and I uh, thought I'd share it with you, just kind of showcase. Um, so Game of Thrones is coming back this year. I'm a huge fan. I'm really looking forward to the last season. Um, I wanted to do a, a gotish theme, a ga Game of Thrones-ish theme. Um, but I wanted to do it with Awesome Window Manager. Uh, I've done a video on, I've done some videos on DWM, which is my favorite window manager. It's ultra, ultra minimal, suckless philosophy, um, no BS, lightweight. Awesome Window Manager is a close second for me because, um, not because of its minimalism, because it's not really minimal. It's, um, it's, it's a close second for me because of its versatility, because you can customize the shit out of it. You can do all sorts of crazy fun stuff with it. It's really fun to hack away at. Um, and as you can see here, what I've done is I've, I've removed the, the conventional top and bottom bars. I've, I've created a far right sidebar there. <clears throat> Um, what I've done is, so with most window managers, you have the typical nine tags or nine workspaces that are numbered. Um, what I've done is I've converted those tags, uh, workspaces to house names. So as you can see, this is house Stark. I can switch over to house Targaryen, uh, house Lannister, house Tyrell, house Aaron. Greyjoy, uh, what was the next one? Baratheon, um, House Martell, and the last one is uh, House Tully. But I'm um, thinking about changing Tully because um, uh, I need to have a Night King um, screen here. But yeah, what I've done here is, uh, so these are all widgets in, in Awesome, kind of similar to the way, it's, it's a similar idea to what you have in other window managers. Uh, but you can you can do a lot more customization with it. You can you can really you can use images for example. Um, you can work on signals. So uh, if I come over to um, so this is the awesome API documentation, and this gives you a, a quick example of how to put a text box. So say this here for example is a text box. Um, if I wanted to um, if I wanted to have that changed blue when I put my mouse over it, um, I could set up a signal, uh, mouse enter and mouse leave. So I could have it change colors. Um, you know, I can click on any of these uh, little icons here and they'll, they'll open up their respective um, whatever programs, um, uh, their widgets. So, so these are vertically, uh, vertically lay, laid out widgets. But then within those vertical, um, within the vertical layouts, you've got horizontal layouts. So there's an icon and a text text box here that are horizontally laid out within the vertical scheme, if that makes sense. So everything is kind of, um, you've got to try to understand how it's all sort of pieced together. And that's still um, a bit of a learning curve, even if, like I haven't quite figured out. There's lots of trial and error involved in doing this. Um, <clears throat> What I've done with uh, the, the changing of the houses is, uh, again, I've used uh, the signals so that when I switch over to tag one, it sends a signal to change it to um, how stark and, and along with that, all of the color scheming. So the uh, this is a ST terminal, for example, that op like if I open up a terminal here, that's, um, that's a stark term, stark term, suckless terminal. If I come over to Targaryen and open this, it's a it's a, a Targ term I call it, or uh, over here Lannister term. Um, same with Roffy. Roffy does a uh, has a an individual um, scheme that goes with the whatever house it's in. Um, what I've done with the uh, the weather widget here is instead of conveying um, the typical weather widgets just have like the temperature and like a cloud icon or something. Uh, I've done it by seasons, so like right now it's winter here in here in the states. So um, you know I have winter is here. 
after that it'll be winter is coming um, what I want to do is have like a mouse over so that um, you know when you put the mouse over it or you click on it it changes it to the the weather you know the temperature um, and these are you know custom APIs um, so convert kit subscribers uh, my some online sales API stuff um, yeah so some really fun stuff you can do with it it also has its own custom um, uh, uh, notification so instead of using dunst like you do in i3 uh, like I've got it set up so that if I get an email for example Ma uh, Meister Lewin oh, my Lord. tells me that I've received a raven um, if I get um, if I update newsboat <clears throat> um, newsboat RSS feeds let me show you what you're fighting for I get uh, I get Melisandre and then um, I think screenshot as well when you play the Game of Thrones, you win. So you probably can't see it's behind me, but... Yeah, so you can, you can... In the same way that you can heavily customize everything else, you can, um, you can do this with, uh... With, uh, the notification... Um... I don't know what you call it. Notification library? Notification extension? Function? Function. Um... So it's called Naughty. Naughty Notifier. Um... And so what I've done here, as you can see, like... Um... That... It, if I if I get a notification that contains the text newsboat, then it this is what it does. It gives me this title, this text, um, plays, uh, uses this icon and plays a, uh, a specific MP3. And so you know you can do this sort of stuff. Um, the uh, you know I don't, I don't want to get into too much of the code because there's so much involved. Maybe I'll do like a series of like. A series of videos where I'll kind of talk about each individual part that I've done. But what, um, so this is this one down here in the in the bottom right is the uh, default rc.lua file. Awesome window managers written in Lua. Um, instead of pre-compiling a binary like you do with DWM, it's it's read at runtime. It's kind of compiled at runtime, if you will, um, or interpreted at runtime. Um, and what what I've done because because the default one is basically everything is in one file it's it's a big a big mess um and i said this before like the the only drawback with using awesome window manager is it's extremely time consuming to um to clean up because you get this this file and you've kind of got to modulate it and and uh make it make it human readable if you will um so what i've done is i've you know i've this is the default file here. I've taken out the key bindings and created a separate file called keys. And in that file, I can add in my key bindings like I have here. You can see like a, the mod key and F2 opens Firefox. Um, you know, and this, this little part here, description and group, um, is for the, uh, the uh, hotkey pop-up help window. Um, and then, you know, down here, where was it? I was just on it before. Rules. So, you know, if you if you want, like I have Firefox only open on um, House Targaryen. So, I, you know, I've set a rule in my rc.lua. Not this one, but my actual rc.lua. Um, just to kind of, to tell it to only open in that, uh, in that window and uh, to only open on a certain layout. So, you know, most of it is kind of uh, understood yeah, if you've worked with i3 or DWM, it's it's all kind of the same concepts. It's just a matter of um, le like learning the API, going through, and you know if you want to put a, a widget like a progress bar widget, for example, um, like this one down here, the volume. Um, it actually gives you a ton of examples here and ideas. Um, so I'm using a uh, I think it's an octagon shape progress bar. Kind of explains here how to do that um, yeah and so and then and there's like there's there's extra libraries and extensions you can get like lane is I'm using lane because it gives me a couple of extra layouts um, and these are just things that you can download and and, and require you know include in your rc.lua file and it will uh, uh, it'll it'll give you some extra functionality and um, 
this is quite popular here, Awesome Copycats, um, because it there are a bunch of sort of pre-made themes for Awesome. So if you're if you're completely new to this and you've never done it before, um, some of these are kind of good to start off with because you can just get it and then hack away at it. Um, I kind of advise, recommend um, starting from scratch because um, building on some, like even these guys here have done an amazing job, like building on this and, and hacking at it and tearing things out. And it, it's actually, it becomes more of a process in my mind, like in my experience to, to do that than it is to actually just take a bare rc.lua file and theme.lua file and, uh, and just kind of work away at it and, and create something new. Um, so that's kind of what I, um, another thing I've done here is I've set, um, I wanted to do like a house video. So like for each one of like kind of got like a sidebar viewing, like I can watch episodes in the clever. sidebar or I can uh, just watch the house videos on, or, um, Kaplan style. yeah, so that's, um, that's that. And uh, I don't know what else I need to do. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's, um, yeah, so I've, uh, where was the, I must have closed it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the kind of project, that's the project I've been working on over Christmas there. Um, if that interests you, then, uh, you'd be happy to kind of go through some of the components. It's just, if I was to explain every little thing, it would just be, this would be like a two hour long video. Um, but you know, maybe I'll do, uh, go through some of the, some of the individual parts. I haven't finished this yet. There are a few, um, a few widgets and features that I kind of want to add into this, um, that maybe I'll kind of update you on in a future video, but that's awesome window manager for you there. That's why it's different to. Uh, I3 and DWM, um, yeah, recommend it.